ನಮ್ಮ ಉದ್ದಾಯ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವರ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಿಮೀಸ್ ಎನಿಮೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ the uh defilements we call them defilements such as anger delusion greed ill will you know passion and uh, jealousy these are enemies of our mind of our peace of our happiness so then meditation helps us to keep our mind healthy and also it helps us to let go of our own flaws meditation in buddhism is very deep it is very deeper than other types of meditation because in buddhist meditation what we do is we cultivate noble qualities in our life we train our mind to be kind to be compassionate to be compassionate and also we train our mind to be free from attachments how how can we maintain a mind which is free from defilements that is our target so in the beginning we cannot uh, have a mind which is free from attachments or free from uh, defilements because our mind is defiled our mind is enveloped by by you know greed sensual desire by um, ill will or anger and also laziness and restlessness and worrying and doubt our mind is covered by these five hindrances it is hindered so that is why we don't experience true peace or true happiness because our mind is sick we are mentally sick when we when our mind is captured or is covered by these five hindrances that's why it is so important to let go of five hindrances and calm down our mind tranquilize our mind keep it quiet and peaceful maintain a mind maintain a peaceful mind a calm mind not very aggressive mind not very uh, wild mind because when we when our mind is captured by or hindered by five hindrances we can be really happy we can be peaceful or calm because our mind is under an attack you know, you know by our you know we are under attack that you know enemies attack us anger ill will you know laziness 
these hindrances do not make our life better it, it makes a big mess in our life that's why it is important to meditate that's why we need to meditate when we meditate we are able to let these hindrances wear out or fade away we can make them f you know fade away when we meditate so we cultivate loving kindness compassion sympathetic joy equanimity and uh, you know very generosity and uh, morality instead of defilements when we develop these noble qualities unwholesome thoughts or unwholesome uh, actions cannot be in our mind because we feed noble qualities when we meditate we can do it so we have to be aware of our mind we have to be aware of our thoughts we have to be aware of what we are doing during our lifetime so we have to be mindful throughout the day whatever we are doing wherever we are we have to be mindful we have to learn about it and we have to train our mind to be mindful to be, and also we have to learn how to maintain a peaceful mind a quiet mind a calm mind how can we tranquilize our mind how can we keep our mind away from the enemy's attack how can we protect our mind so mind has a protection which we call mindfulness so when we practice mindfulness for when we practice four foundations of mindfulness our mind is safe but if we are out of the mindfulness if we are out of the concentration if we are out of the awareness if we are not aware of if you are not aware of the present moment and what is going on and what we are doing we are vulnerable for defilements and then that can make a mess maybe big mess in our life so we won't be happy we won't be calm and we won't be peaceful if our mind is like that so that's why it is so important to know about mindfulness the right mindfulness which helps us to cultivate noble qualities and also meditation so today i'm going to talk about a meditation and uh, Uh, i would like to talk about um how to develop our concentration in meditation how can we bring the awareness to the present moment so let's talk about some some action that we can make in meditation while we are meditation while we meditate we can try these uh, things and we may be able to develop a strong concentration so you know uh, we practice meditation Uh, sitting on a cushion and also we know we learn uh, we have learned that about walking meditation so there are several techniques that we can uh, focus we can practice 
in order to concentrate our mind. So we can practice breathing meditation, we can practice loving kindness meditation, we can practice impermanent meditation, we can practice, we can meditate on four, four elements, we can meditate on 32 body parts, we can meditate on a dead body, we can meditate on our body postures, and we can, we can meditate on our feelings, we can meditate on our mind, our, you know, mental, you know, uh, our thoughts, and we can meditate on the objects of our mind, which arise in our mind, so which we call four foundation of mindfulness. So when we develop our mindfulness, our awareness, we are able to make a contact, a conscious contact with the reality. Otherwise we can't make a conscious contact with the reality because our consciousness, our mind is corrupted, is defiled by hindrances. When we let go of hindrances, we can make a conscious contact with reality, with the truth. We can see who we are because we can make such a contact with, such a conscious, con conscious contact with the reality. Because our mind is uh, well developed, cultivated. We train our mind to be like that, to be focused on the reality. So we have we have a path to do to to follow. So we practice it re, re, you know regularly and gradually and constantly. So when we do it constantly, we are able to concentrate our mind. But if we do not do it, if we do it you know indiscriminately. Uh, you know, randomly, you know, we are not able to make a strong con concentration because we don't do it constantly. So we can practice meditation regularly and gradually and constantly and we can see, we can bring, we can get a quick, we can get a good result out of our practicing out of our meditation if we do it constantly, regularly and gradually. So meditation has a rhythm. We want to find, we want to recognize our own rhythm that our mind flows. And, and then we want to understand the rhythm of the meditation and then use it in order to bring our awareness to the present moment. When we train our mind to be mindful of the present moment, if we can bring the awareness to the present moment, we can, we can make a contact with the reality which is present. So in order to do that, we should have a clear comprehensive abilities and mindfulness. So both of them, both of them together play a big prominent role to understand the reality of our own life, to see, our, to see the reality of our own mind and let go of our own flaws, defects. And we can, we can cleanse our mind, our bodily actions, verbal, verbal actions when we can make a contact with the a, a, a conscious contact with the reality by developing the awareness to be aware to be aware of present moment so if we don't understand if we don't know the nature of the present moment we won't be able to understand the reality of the present moment because we don't know so that is why Insight meditation is helpful, you know, very helpful uh, in order to find the reality, in order to see the reality of the present moment. The serene meditation, Samatha, uh, 
helps us to bring our awareness to the present moment. Insight meditation helps us to investigate the, re the nature of the present moment. So both of them are required to understand the reality of our life. So that's what we do in my Buddhist meditation. So because the Buddha very explicitly he uh, taught us what is the importance of meditation, of the Noble Eightfold Path, of right concentration and right mindfulness. And why we need to meditate. So you know, what is the why we have to practice? Why we have to, why do we have to develop this mind? Because this mind is not well developed. If it is developed, we want we, we want we don't want to develop because it is developed. So we we have to develop this mind in order to be away from stress, depression, anxiety, suffering, you know, all kind of suffering. So then first of all we want to understand that we get attacked by five hindrances and we suffer too and we get mentally stressed and depressed and also we get we have anxiety and we have fear so we have to acknowledge that I am not I am not skilled enough to let go of stress and depression and anxiety uh, right away and I'm, I am vulnerable to stress and depression and anxiety because they arise in me. Why do they arise in me? Because I am not, my mind is not well developed, well cultivated. So then how can I do that? How can I, how can I cultivate my, how can I cultivate mental skills? How can I develop my mind? How can I restrain my actions, which, you know, we have to restrain our bodily actions, verbal actions, and also mental actions, because there are some actions which we can make bodily or verbally or mentally that they can bring lots of trouble. They can create lots of trouble in our life. So then they create stress. So, you know, we have to let go of all kind of action which can create stress and depression in us should be abandoned. Any kind of actions which, which creates which create stress and depression and fear in us should be you know they should be abandoned. We have to let we have to let go of those actions. So if we keep doing those actions, same action that that brought that created a stress and depression in, our, in us, so we are really foolish people. So that is why we have to be wise. You know, in order to be wise, we have to learn the reality of our life. We have to learn the Dhamma. We have to understand what kind of actions can make, can cause stress and depression, and what kind of actions can make me peaceful. So restraining of our bodily actions is so is also part of meditation which is very important so we don't engage in any misconduct bodily verbally because those misconducts can create stress depression anxiety fear and troubles in us so we strain that that gives a big you know that that help, that can help us to concentrate our mind and then we tend to meditate. So you know, after you know, we 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 have to have the our background, you know, which we can which we can use uh, to develop our mind. Like we have to uh, have we have to fulfill all the preliminary factors which uh, helps us to develop concentration. So the morality, restraining our bodily actions and verbal actions uh, are very important. So they are, those are very preliminary factors of meditation that we have to 
get this done and meditate so then we can meditate very peacefully because we haven't done, we haven't made any mis any misconduct any any wrong action that can create troubles and stress depression anxiety so we have to be aware of that we have to be mindful so you know we need to have a target the, our target is to be peaceful or at all the time at any condition at at all the time at any situation we need to be peaceful on any condition you know whatever conditions uh, that we are whatever situation we are we have to be peaceful and calm so if we are in a bad if we are in a bad condition that bad condition should not hurt me we have to be able to go through it very peacefully it should not hurt us it's just you know something happened something's happening which is not good but you don't like it but you know if we can cultivate you know if we can develop our mind and if we can develop equanimity we can go through it very peacefully so that cannot that can that can't hurt you so do like to meditate and be happy when you meditate and be happy about being a meditator and be happy about being a moral person be happy about it because those actions do not hurt you do not harm you do not harm anybody so then it's good to practice them right it's very it's good it's good to practice them so nothing nothing is wrong with it so see that and be happy with it be happy and be happy to practice them be happy to be happy <laughs> right be happy to be peaceful and be happy to be calm right so have a target to be happy to be peaceful be peaceful so then do like to meditate and do like to live alone for a while in your room disconnect yourself from normal world disconnect yourself from normal world for a while and just relax yourself just re- just let your real body get some relax mm-hmm. just relax and sit on a cushion or sit on a chair not to, you know, don't sleep you know you can meditate on when sleeping you know on on the, on the bed like you can meditate you know now you're going to meditate so when you're going to meditate just disconnect yourself from the world no no companions no talk no uh movies right while you're meditating you know just just for a while disconnect yourself from normal world and just relax just relax stretch out your legs and your hands your fingers and just relax and sit comfortably on a cushion or on a little bench and then be aware of where you are and if you are in your room and be aware of it that you where you are i am in my room and be aware of where you know how you are sitting so then you can see that you are sitting on a chair or you are sitting on a cushion so be aware of it feel it and just relax yourself don't think anything else just be at present moment don't take long time to do this too just be quiet be peaceful 
Be calm, just relax your body and relax your mind and be aware of where you are. And then think. Think and give a value for what you are going to do. Think how valuable is how valuable meditation is. How valuable is the concentration? How valuable concentration is? So just just see, give a value. You know, value what you are doing. But don't value distracting thoughts, useless thoughts. Don't give any value for those distracting thoughts which distract yourself, which connect yourself with useless things. Disconnect yourself from useless things and just be, you know, try, try. Try to be quiet and be calm. And then close your eyes and again be aware of where you are you are in, a, in your room or you are in this meditation hall or you are on the tree wherever you are just be aware of it and then focus your mind focus your attention to your body bring your attention to your body and see how your body is don't go to the meditation technique or meditation object right away you sit to meditate. Just, just be quiet and be calm, be peaceful, relax yourself and cool down yourself and normally, gradually uh, make your mind to be merged with meditation object. And then keep on the meditation track, meditation lane. Don't don't let your mind uh, get off from the track. If you if, if your mind went off from the track, if your mind goes off or goes out, goes away from the track, don't worry, bring it back. Bring it back. So recognize it, bring it back. So that's what we are going to do. We train our mind to be focused on, to be focused on the wholesome meditative object. So relax yourself, pay attention to your body, and see how your body is, feel your how body is. Don't take a long time, within two or three minutes, or four minutes, just cool down yourself and um, Make yourself comfortable to meditate for meditation, and then I told you that you need to think uh, how valuable meditation is, how valuable concentration is, and be happy with that, and be happy about. Uh, meditation and about the concentration about what you're doing and with that happiness with that sense of happiness get into the meditation and now you can feel your body you can feel the bo the way your body is you can feel your legs you can feel your hands you can feel your head, you can feel your whole body and with that just let your mind relax, let your body get relaxed and take a deep breath in and out and merge into your meditation. And before you merge into your meditation, think that relax, no relax, relax. So when you say that you, you know, when you think that you're going to relax, so that means you're not going to think anything else. Only you feel and you think, 
you only think and feel the way your body is and you what you are going to do so whatever ha- had ha- whatever happened today or in the morning or at you know i do don't think about that don't think about what happened don't think about what is going to happen when you meditate just let those thoughts go just keep them away don't don't involve with them just let them go not now later you can deal with them later but first of all most important thing is to be to have a peaceful mind because if you don't have a peaceful mind unless you have no unless you couldn't uh, concentrate your mind unless you uh, be peaceful unless you have an, an uh, a peaceful mind you get trouble because you cannot deal with anything with a uh, with an aggressive mind because your mind acts very aggressively so very you know in a crazy way and then things get things can get worse uh, than it was so that's why it's important to be peaceful and have a peaceful mind unless you do unless you do it you won't be able to experience a peaceful life you won't be able to be free from stress and depression and, and anxiety you will get lots of trouble unless you practice meditation unless you are uh, unless you don't unless you practice mindfulness so now you know you're meditating and you leave things away you're not going to think what happened and what is going to happen no you are cool you are calm you are peaceful and you relax you you relax yourself being with you not being with anything else so you let yourself cool down calm down you know by letting yourself being with you being with the present moment and now you feel your body the way your body is now you can feel your bo- your body parts your legs your hands your head and you can take a deep breath in and out and you can slowly merge into meditation now you can bring now you can pay attention to your main meditation object if it is a, the breathing meditation you bring your awareness to the end of your nose and you will let yourself feel the way the breath goes in and out so when you see when you feel that when you feel that you breathe in and breathe out you know that you keep watching your breath and you're not going you you don't do it uh, you you know you don't force to breathe in and out you let it happen naturally so you have a natural way of breathing breath so you focus your mind on that breath so you don't force to breathe in and out and you just keep quiet yourself and you are watching your breath when you breathe in you know that you breathe in when you breathe out you know that you breathe out so you keep watching it so then always you have to you have to give you have to value what you are doing and uh, devalue the distracting thoughts any anything that that anything which come to your mind devalue them 
and let them go. The main valuable thing is the concentration, your practice, your training. So when a thought arises, when a distractive thought arises in your mind, just devalue it. See what it is and see it is not your main main object. So then, if it is not your target, if, you, if it is not your main object, so what are you going to do with it? You have no deal with it. So then, right after you see that, just let it go. Just let go of it. Be peaceful. When a, when a distracted thought arise, arises in your mind, see it and see it as a distracting thought. Any thought that came to your mind can distract you. It can take you away from your main meditative object. So you, you want to recognize what is your meditation object. So you, if you practice breathing meditation, your thought is about thought should be about meditate about the breath, not anything else. So when a when another thought comes to your mind, see it and and recognize that is not what I'm doing. That's not very useful for me right now. So I don't have to deal with this. I don't want to think about this. So devalue it and see it as an unwholesome thought, a distracting thought. Okay, be very peacefully, you know, very peacefully, very silently. You see it, you devalue the thoughts of the so distracted thoughts and you let go of right away, you know, when you see, when you understand, when you devalue them. But if you value them, then you are not going to let go of it. Because you will be thinking of it again and again, again and again, again and again. But see, you know, see it as an um, as an unimportant thing, not as a an important thing. It's not important. It's not very important important at that moment, at that point, because your main focus, your main your attention should be focused on uh, your meditation, meditative object, meditation object. So then, when you deval when you devalue it. You can let go of it very easily and f focus your mind on your meditative object. Just for a while. Keep going, you know, relax yourself and keep heading towards the point. So, suppose, so, suppose you are heading to Tampa. <laughs> That's your aim. So, while you are driving your car on the way to Tampa, so you see some beautiful plants, beautiful flowers on the side of the road and if you get distracted by them, if you feel that, if you feel that you should stay there and you should go into that world then and see flowers and deal with them, you're not going to go to Tampa. You, you, you get stuck on the way. You're not heading towards Tampa. You are, dist you, are, you are distracted by it. So while you are going, while you are heading towards Tampa, you will see lots of things. <coughs> You will see a very beautiful thing, but those are not important for you at the at the at that time. Those are not important. Very important is to go to Tampa because you have something to do. Very important thing that uh, is very uh, valuable for you. So you you don't think that you don't value things you see, you know. Beside, you know, on the side of the road, right? 
you don't give you don't value them you don't think that as a as a valuable thing so you hit into a stamp up because it that thing is very valuable for you maybe you can make some money you know you go to work <laughs> or you you do something very important and say maybe you know that's a very useful thing for you so it is just just a simple uh, example for meditation so that's why i told you value your meditation value the meditation object and value the concentration but don't value distracting thoughts which you feel when you meditate which you come to your mind when you meditate devalue them and let them go skip them you will see them you will see that's a natural thing but your attention doesn't go towards that you keep heeding your attention you keep focusing your attention on your meditative object you know because you understand how valuable is how valuable the concentration is and how valuable the peace is you know the peacefulness is very more valuable than other things so therefore you keep heeding towards it so it's so understand it's so it is very important to understand the valuable of meditation and concentration and uh and also how important it is to have a mind a peaceful mind so then you don't care whatever come to your mind you don't care you just let them go you don't value them but if we value if we value them we get stuck and we will be thinking of them and then finally we end up with being Uh, fed up with meditation because like oh, we say, we tend to say oh this doesn't work for me so i can meditate i am not a well focusing guy you find what you do you do you devalue meditation you devalue yourself you devalue your skills you devalue concentration you de- you devalue very useful things and you value us- useless things so you end up with garbage useless stuff so not <laughs> you're not going to make a good life if you de- if you value useless things and devalue useful things right mm-hmm. so if you know how to lead your mind towards the your target and if you value that you will do it regularly constantly and gradually because you know how valuable is that and you know how important that is and you know how to do it too so when you begin to when you sit to meditate and when you merge into your meditation object and thoughts come to your mind but you don't value them you keep focusing your mind on meditative object so you learn how to devalue useless thoughts you understand that it's not my target that's not my object that's not what i'm doing you are aware of it you keep focusing your mind on the meditative object again and again again and again so whatever come to your mind whatever arises in your mind you can burn them off because you see no value of it you only see the value of what you are doing So if you practice the loving kindness meditation so what you're doing is you generate a feeling of love and kindness in your mind with the with thoughts of love and kindness so we we generate this this kind of thought like may i be free from anger so you recite it in your mind and at the same time you give you give a rise to a feeling of that 
thought. And you train yourself to drench your mind with that thoughts of loving kindness. So we keep thinking, may I be free from anger, may I be free from ill will, may I be free from jealousy, may I be free from mental suffering, may I be free from physical suffering, may I live in peace, may I live happily. So you, you think then, there is a, you know, you focus your mind on the sound of that internal voice. There is an internal voice inside of your mind when you practice meditation, so when you practice loving kind of meditation, you can listen to that science, that internal voice that you have in you. So when you think, may I be free from anger? You can feel that noise, that voice. It is in you. So you keep, you focus your mind on that. And you keep thinking and focusing your mind on the thoughts, same thoughts, and that can create a feeling of love and kindness and compassion. When you keep doing it, you can concentrate your mind very easily because you give a rise to a love, to a feeling of love and kindness and compassion. So you keep doing it. And while you do it, while you are practicing loving kind of meditation, suppose you know, suddenly you get attacked by some kind of distracting thoughts and then what you are going to do? Are you going to think about them? Or are you going to hit yourself? Or continue yourself? Or, uh, you know, continue yourself uh, to practice your meditation? What are you going to do? You should do, continue what you were doing. Once you see any distracting thoughts which come to your mind, you devalue them, you see no importance of them, and you, let it, let it, let, you, you are able to let it go very quickly, because you see no value of it. When you do that, you are peaceful. You are very mindful and calm because you do not grab things. You train yourself to let go of it. And then you can train yourself very well and you will be able, you will be able to experience and get a good result very quickly if you do that meditation in that way. So you want to see how, you want to understand how important uh, meditation is and how important concentration is and how valuable that is and devalue distracting thoughts and value the peace of your mind. Value it and heed yourself towards that and then you will skip anything that you see while you are heading to your destination, your target. You are not going to stop and hang around with what you see on the way to your target. If you are going to hang around with the th things which you uh, see on the way to target, you are not going to reach your target, you are you get stuck on the way. So, in meditation, same thing. See the see distracting thoughts as distracting thoughts, distracting thoughts, and keep you know, deval devalue them and let them go and keep focusing. But when you do it, make sure that you, whether you are peaceful or not, you have to be very peaceful, very relaxed, very relaxed. No rush, no panic. Don't let yourself be agitated. Just be relaxed.
quiet, calm, peaceful. And focus your mind on object. More you focus your mind on the meditative object, you are able to get more peace and more calm. And you know there are various techniques that we can use to devalue useless thoughts. And we can sometimes, you know, distracting thoughts can be very powerful and they can distract ourselves very strongly and so it's so hard to go through them, it's so hard to let them go. So then you have to crush your mind with your mind. And go ahead. So you, you know, I will teach you that sutta again, that's a, that's a very, very important Dhamma talk, a discourse uh, that Buddha gave based on distracting thoughts. I will teach you it uh, next time. So then you will understand how to think and what to do. So first, understand and see the importance of your meditation. And don't devalue meditation and don't devalue yourself. Don't underestimate your mind or yourself. Don't think that you can do it. You can't do it as long as you don't do it. <laughs> right? You will never do it as long as you don't, you don't uh, give a try. You have to put and try, you know, put an effort. You will try. Try and try, try and try. One day you can fly, right? <laughs> they say like that, right? <laughs> try and try. I, I know I have heard that. <laughs> try in Sri Lanka, you know, we use also we use that. Try and try, try again and again. Try and try, 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 try. Try and try. One day you can fly if you try. <laughs> so, so we are not going to fly, we are not going to try to fly, we are going to meditate, we are going to keep our mind peaceful and calm. So try, try, practice it, train yourself. We can train our mind, you can do it. So keep hitting to a target, your, your, your object, so you have a point, you have a target. So it's a little, so it's a point. So then you can, you have to skip all the things that you see on the way to your target. You are not going to deal with things which come to you when you are heading towards to your target. You see you know, things which come to your mind on the way. So you devalue them. Your main valuable target is peace of mind, the true peace of your mind, inner peace of your mind. So when you have such a strong target and when you are able to deval devalue the distracting, th distracting thoughts, you are able to concentrate your mind. In order to devalue distracting thoughts, you have to be wise. You have to see, you have to understand what is the unwholesome, what is the wholesome? What is the skillful? What are the unskillful thoughts? That's very important, very crucial in our meditation. And keep practicing meditation. Keep focusing your mind on your meditative object. And also, you want to develop your awareness. I told you last time, we are developing awareness, not we are not training to sit on a cushion for three hours or two hours. Two hours or three hours. We are not training ourselves to sit on a cushion. We are training our mind to be calm, to be peaceful by developing our awareness. Our awareness. Our mindfulness. So, we develop mindfulness or clear comprehensive abilities, awareness 
in our meditation, and that's what we call meditation. If our awareness doesn't grow, if our mindfulness doesn't grow, it is not a meditation. You are not meditating because your mindfulness is so weak. You can't be mindful. But in the beginning you won't be able to be mindful of everything at the same, you know, very quickly. So that is why you have to understand that you are, a, I am a beginner, I am a practitioner. I am, I am training myself. I am a student. I am not a master of it. I am training. So when you understand that you are training yourself, when you understand that you are a practitioner, that means you are practicing. You are not a master of it. So when you practice, you keep practicing, you keep doing it again and again, again and again. When you do it again and again, constantly, regularly and gradually, you get familiar with it and you get skilled, you get used to it and your mind gets used to it and then you can concentrate your mind because you did it for a while regularly, gradually and constantly. And you understood the rhythm of the meditation. You understood the rhythm of the, the, your mind. You understand the way your mind flows. You see it, you can understand it once you think about your mind. You know what you are thinking of. See, you know, try to understand what you're thinking of. Like, don't think that, don't see them as your thoughts. See them as some thoughts, some, you know, see, see your thoughts as external thing which came into your mind. Don't see them as you. See them as external thing. And separate yourself from a, from them away, you know, separate yourself from them and devalue the thoughts. And then you can let go of it. Suppose that uh, a thought arose in your mind regarding a big personal matter of you. So, but it's not the, it's not a big matter while, when you are going to meditate. So then you have, you know, what does that matter? What is the problem? So if me suppose your car was stolen. Okay, now what are you going to do? Are you going to cry? So you can make a, you can make a complaint. You, know, at the, you can leave a complaint at the police station and then they will try to find it. You can make you act you can make action if you have insurance you can do those actions but don't let it hurt yourself right just be quiet be calm be peaceful relax yourself don't get agitated i i took it as an example okay so don't let any personal matter to hurt you so it, even though it is personal don't take them as personal because peace, true inner peace of your mind is very important than anything. Inner peace, true happiness is very important and, value, and valuable than anything. Don't worry about your material stuff, material belongings. You will find a way to live. Don't worry about it. You will find a way to live. You will manage it. Don't worry about it. Just let them be quiet. Let them be. Let them go. Just let the time go. But but don't let yourself engage in misconduct because of the troubles that come to you, disaster come to you. Don't connect with this disaster that come to your life. Disconnect yourself from them and then you can solve your problems. 
you can keep you can keep uh, a peaceful mind with you you can keep quiet and train yourself to be peaceful and meditate so then you don't get agitated you don't get uh, panic attacked and you can solve any problem because you can see all the side of the matter and you can solve it because you see the all the sides of the matter so uh when you sit to meditate relax yourself as i said earlier and don't go to meditate your object right away you sit to meditate first let your body get relaxed let your mind get relaxed and and value what you're going to do and where you see you know feel where you are and for be feel your body the way your body is and practice it and then create slowly merge into your meditation object and don't take long time to do that within 2 to 3 minutes you can do it you, you you will get used to it when you practice it regularly and constantly so that's very important that's very important and also practice 5 minutes yeah practice that meditation for 5 minutes and then stand up and practice walking meditation for another 5 minutes and sit again and sit um for 5 minutes again and again stand up and practice walking meditation and sitting and walking sitting and walking you try to develop awareness don't try to um grab whole thing at once you can't grab whole thing at once thinking that you can bring the reality right away you start to meditate you, you don't think that you can bring the reality to the present to your life and see the reality right away you sit to meditate no you can't there is a gradual path that we have to follow that we have to train ourselves so you can't see the depth of your life until you go to the depth of your life we have to go to the deepest point of our life so we have to lead our mind then only we can see it just being on the surface you can't see it some people try to do that and then they get trouble and then they get uh, you know wrong understanding and then they spread it out and then they make a big mess in dhamma then they tend to uh, interpret dhamma in accordance to they understood but the way they understood is wrong so then they get trouble and they you know even the follow of them also get trouble but if we can follow what exactly buddha taught what exactly he did not commentaries not other people but you know not what others said then we are safe we can continue so learn about meditation practice breathing meditation as buddha said and practice loving kind of meditation So when you practice meditate breathing meditation and just just watch it just focus your mind on breath and when you breathe in and know you know that you breathe in when you breathe out you know that you don't want to do anything else you don't want to keep your mind so busy just feel you just know you breathe in when you breathe in just keep no breathe in when you breathe out breathe out so that's very peaceful so and what people do is you know try and they try to find a very easiest way and then they tend to do weird kind of things and but they don't get the essence of meditation they just 
try to do something but no they they can't get the the good result of meditation if they don't do it uh, naturally you know do we we can't create result artificially we need to get them naturally so this this is a natural path this is a natural way so we have to follow that natural path natural way and develop our mind according to the dhamma so that's what i wanted to let you know the main thing is that don't value your don't value distracting distracting thoughts and value what you are doing value the meditation value meditation object don't underestimate yourself don't think that you can do it no you can do it when you give a, if you try you can do it so keep trying keep doing and you know feel the rhythm of meditation and do it constantly every day at the same time so at the morning evening noon noon evening and at night before you go to bed practice loving kind of meditation and have a great confidence in meditation you know have a great confidence in mindfulness and learn how to be mindful and that will help you to uh, restrain yourself and let go of your uh, wrong kind of very bad addiction that you are addicted you can see that within you and you know try to be quiet don't talk too much just keep quiet just try to keep a you know keep a quiet mouth give a relax give a break to your mouth <laughs> don't open it out all the time and you know just keep quiet keep calm keep keep it peaceful give a break to your mind and talk use full thing don't talk your full thing that will help you to develop your mindfulness and concentration so i wish you i bless you may all of you be able to understand the the, the rhythm of meditation and the way yeah, of uh, mindfulness and develop mindfulness and concentration using the techniques that we talked you know the preliminary technique preliminary factors that we uh, discussed today you know how to merge into meditation this talk this technique will help you to keep doing keep practicing your meditation and you will be able to enjoy your meditation so may you enjoy may you be able to enjoy meditation and may you be able to understand four noble truths and be free from suffering as soon as possible sadhu sadhu sadhu, sadhu.